Hey everyone, this week we are talking about time. Yesterday I shared with you about how we are to walk as wise people and make the most of our time because the days are evil and really focus on the things that matter for eternity and not focus so much on the things that are just temporal. Today we're going to look in Psalm chapter 90, verse 12. It might be a verse that's familiar to you. There the psalmist writes, Lord, teach us to number our days so that we may be able to present to you a life of wisdom. The psalmist tells us, he says that he wanted God to teach him to, to number his days so that he would understand how finite, how mortal he truly was. In Psalm 90, it really is a, uh, a distinction between the eternality of God and the uh, temporal condition of man. And, and so the psalmist says, hey, God, teach us to number our days. May we understand that, that life really is finite, that it doesn't go on, this physical life does not go on forever, so that we may be able to present to you a heart of wisdom. So we would have wisdom in that. It's amazing that it seems as though we can never live for the moment. Somebody has said that if life were a 24-hour clock, the average lifespan being about 78 years, they said this, they said, if you're 10 years old, it is 3 a.m. for you. If you're 20 years old, it's 6.24 a.m. for you. If you're 30, it's 9 a.m. If you're 40 years old, it's just past noon on your clock. If you're 50, it's 318. If you're 60, it's 622. Life goes by so quickly. That's why James tells us that life is like a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. That's why the psalmist says, Lord, teach us to number our days so that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. Because it seems as though we can never just focus on today. When we're younger, we're always looking ahead or is looking to get our driver's license, or being able to go to college, or graduating from college, and getting that first job, and looking forward to a home, and looking forward to a marriage, and maybe even a family. And then as we get older, we start to look back, and we begin to reminisce about the days in the past, and we begin to look with maybe some regrets and decisions that we made in the past. Just last week, I was texting back and forth with a friend of mine from high school, and we were talking about the good old days and basketball and the, the golden age of the NBA. But God tells us to live for today, to, to really leverage the opportunities that he's given us today, not to look back. Uh, we would look back with instruction, but, but to live for today and leverage the opportunities that he's given to you, to enjoy the things that he's given to you today, not, not look forward too far and not look back, but to really live for today. So I would encourage you today that as you go through your day-to-day -day activities, that you would leverage the opportunities that God has given to you to really invest in eternity, that you would enjoy today and that God would teach you to number your days so that you can present to him a heart of wisdom.